We're here in the, the sunny southeast of Ireland, facing due south, about 100 metres from the sea. More often than not, with sand hitting our face rather than rain or water. Yeah, it's a beautiful part of the world. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't go anywhere else. My position in the company, I guess, is managing director. Only of late, we're kind of going through a generational change at the moment from my father, David Crowley, also. Sixth or seventh David Crowley now at this stage. All David Crowley the whole way back, so <laughs> yeah, I'm David Crowley as well. Junior this time. My ancestors would have come from West Cork and my grandfather would have made his way down here back in the 40s. The son follows what the father has done and, and kind of keeps on being passed down, but in our situation it's after going through a lot of generations at this stage which is, I guess is unique. This workshop was set up in the 80s, but obviously it, it had gone through the generation change again between my father and my grandfather. This cabinet here at the back is made by my great-grandfather about 1880, 1890. So really that's the heritage is there. That's the job now for uh, restoration sometime, when I get a bit of time. There's a lot of skills and hand to eye coordination involved, but that also comes from my mother's side, as all those people were all tailors. From the time I was knee high to a grasshopper, I can remember being here. Sweeping the floor is everybody's first job here. So you sweep the floor and you graduate up and you, you spend a bit of time in the spray shop learning the most important part, which I think is the finishing element of it. So that's, that's where we, we start, start at the end. I studied uh, interior architecture with the view to coming back to the business as a, I suppose, uh, an extra element, a feather to my cap, I suppose, that, that I had that design element to my background then as well. I did that for four or five years and, and did a little bit of work with an architect, but it was always the, the intention to come back to the business. There was never hope of me doing anything else. If you do a high standard of work over a long period of time, it doesn't go unnoticed. We've worked our way up through high-end residential now for some of the finest houses in the world and we're, we're continuing to do that. But there's a very exciting opportunity in, in marine work, specifically super yachts. That is the space where the best work in the world is done at the moment. And it's the space where we feel we should be. It is just fantastic, demanding and interesting work brings the best out in your skill levels and you really have to be at the top end to be able to do it. The business has gone from being solely in the, the Irish market to being international. And for us, the only difference is the ferry or the flight. That is the only difference. People are the same all over the world as far as we're concerned. It's not just cabinet making, it's not, it's not carpentry, it's, it's everything. It's, it's all encompassing. There will always be a passion all over the world for woodwork. It's one of those things that is desirable. It's homely, it's comforting, it's, it's all of those things. The woodwork will always be at the heart of what we do. It will always be our passion. Regardless of who they are, where they are, um, how big or small the job is, it's, it, it doesn't matter to us. It's, it's a project and it's their project and it's the most important thing to them at that time, which is the most important thing to us.